West Side Gun and the Christmas Miracle, next. What's poppin', it's your boy Mike Powers. Thank you for clicking this video. Well, this is what vacation apparently looks like. I'm trying to relax. All of a sudden, pictures is popping up on IG. People start saying, held and froze over. And now instead of calling him West Side Gun, we could call him West Side Claws. Cause apparently on Christmas day, correct me if I'm wrong, a couple of pictures was posted on IG. One very important picture featured the one Mac Hami and the one West Side Gun, also known as the Fly God. Now look, you may have known that I've dropped a lot of Griselda content on this channel. And in one of my videos that's got something to do with Griselda, down in the comment section, I think for eight months going, there's been a conversation back and forth about Makami, Gafahim, and their relationship to West Side Gun. Literally, about eight, nine months this convo has been going on. I can't remember everybody that's involved in it, but my man Beat City is holding it down. Y'all going back and forth with the facts down there. For real, it's a little nerdy, but I'm cool with it. But I could barely follow the shit. Apparently they was all in the same crew at one point. Fahim was uh, a barber of West Side Gun. They used to help him shoot videos or some other shit. I don't know. And at some point they became persona non grata within Griselda and the West Side Gun sphere of influence. What the fuck is a sphere of influence? Some people say it had to do with West Side Gun exerting too much control. I'm reading on a particular website earlier today that maybe it had something to do with the fact that West Side Gun didn't want to give Fahim a free verse. On demand to pay for the verse, that became a problem. Mike Hami stood in solidarity. Some disc records was exchanged. Easter Gun Day, some shit. Y'all was putting me on to that. Early on in the year, I had to go back and listen to Easter Gun Day. I still can't follow all the references because when you do subliminal shit like that, in the beef, I can't follow all that shit. So anyway, the caption on the new picture that's posted on IG, West Side Guns page says something to the effect of once a fly god, always a fly god. Correction, it said once a fashion rebel, always a fashion rebel. And also makes references to some albums that you about to see coming in 2021. So what does those pictures portend for the relationship between Mike Hami, West Side Gun? What do the pictures represent? Is they just squashing the beef? They gonna do a couple records together? I have sources on the inside who are reporting to me today that Mac Hami is set to be signed to Griselda. It's what I'm being told. I cannot confirm it nor deny it. These are the rumors. Perhaps West Side Gun would like to clear some of these rumors up. Of course, he has an open invitation to appear on this platform when he so chooses. But apparently, uh, overtures was made towards Matt Kami from West Side Gun as early as June. I must have missed it. Where West Side Gun uh, sent a shout out to Matt Kami in the Nardwar interview. So with that being said, looking like a brand new Matt Kami project with Griselda's coming down the pike pretty soon. Also, there was the other picture that included Fahim. Looks like everybody's back into the fold. That pretends a very strong 2021 for West Side Gun. On the heels of rumors that Benny and Conway have decided to part ways from real family members. Apparently the business has gotten in the way. I cannot again confirm this, just what I am hearing at this time. So if they're gonna be down a couple of superstar players, plugging in a Fahim and a Mike Hami might be the way to stay relevant and strong in 2021. And wouldn't that be a good look considering the year that Griselda West Side Gun in particular has had? I mean, it's pretty historic. The Jimmy Fallon joint, the cracking the billboard, selling out the merch, just becoming kind of household names starting out in Buffalo. Real big story. Looking to keep that momentum going into 2021. But see, the question is now, how does Jay-Z fit into this? Because I know that Hami was messing around with Jay-Z over there. Uh, I think Benny is doing the Rock Nation management as well. Now West Side Gun has inserted himself into there. And what's going on with Def Jam? Y'all didn't get back to my man on the DMs about him running that whole label. Do you got to do this thing himself and show y'all how it's done? And check this out. And they came back together during this whole so-called beef period. They was able to come back together and reconcile without nobody getting shot and without nobody getting beat up. It's a beautiful thing. It makes a stronger case for cats over 30 doing their thing in hip hop. We can show y'all young motherfuckers something. So going into 2021, the crews to look out for now, you got Griselda, you got The Cloth, you of course got Lord Mob, and of course, Trust. Now, it's a lot of people, you're gonna throw some other crews at me that maybe it didn't pop to the top of my mind right now. That's not my fault. That's whoever's fault. 
didn't pop into my mind right now. Might come back and apologize later. But right now, I got Griselda, The Cloth, Lord Mob, Trust coming strong in 2021. So you know how I usually say, thank you for connecting with me. Go connect with each other. Looks like Mark Hami and West Side Gun kind of took my advice. Don't you think? And I think West Side Gun should come and explain this in more detail. Don't you think? I did that. That's breaking news. I'm going back on vacation. Peace.